A professional dancer, Eva, becomes paraplegic following an accident. She goes home, and as she's about to sleep, she recalls her accident. Eva works at an insurance company. Back on 3rd December, which is also her birthday, her boss, John, reprimands her for her bad performance last month. She leaves feeling unhappy. She calls her father, who has Alzheimer's, but his wife, Agnes, picks up. She requests to speak to her father, but Agnes claims that her father doesn't remember her anymore, and ends the call. Later that night, Eva looks at her father's pictures, reminiscing about the good old times while her best friend Sophie visits her unexpectedly. Sophie says that she is here to celebrate her birthday. She brings her a cake and a bottle of wine and gives her a birthday gift. Eva opens the gift and she sees it is an advent calendar. She asks Sophie where she had gotten it from. Sophie says she brought it from a German Expo store. She tells Eva that there is an inscription behind the calendar that says, Dump it and I will kill you. Disregarding the words, Eva places the calendar on her table. She opens it and she finds a key. She uses the key to open the first box in the calendar, and she finds chocolate in it. After unwrapping it, she saw some German words on the wrapper, which Sophie helps her interpret it. The paper says, there are three rules. The first is that if you eat one of the chocolates, then you must finish the rest. Next, you must obey all the rules until you open the last door. And finally, you must not dump the calendar. Failure to adhere to any of the instructions will result in death. Regardless, Eva decides to eat the chocolate and she proceeds to open the next box. She sees her father's favorite chocolate. She accuses Sophie of putting it there. But Sophie says she isn't the one and maybe says if Eva eats the chocolate, it will connect her to her father. Eva doesn't eat the chocolate and she drops it. She opens the third box where she finds a card with German writing and Sophie helps to interpret it, which says, to cure hurt, destroy what hurts you. She then attempts to force open the next box, but it doesn't work. At midnight, the calendar notifies her to open it, and when she does, a wooden card of Jesus pops up, and she finds chocolate in it. She asks Sophie to read the words, and it says, Jesus asks the cripple to stand. She feels emotional hearing those words and tells Sophie she doesn't want to talk about it, so Sophie leaves. Eva eats her father's favorite chocolate after that, and she receives a call from her discontinued land phone. It's her father wishing her happy birthday and hangs up. She tries to call him back with her cell phone, but he doesn't pick up. She goes to work the next day and John tells her to give some of her clients to a new colleague, Miriam. She asks if she would get her client back, but she claims he is only concerned about the company's turnover. Miriam also asks her how she keeps working in her state and says she wants her space because she would only work in the morning. After work, Sophia comes to pick her up and asks her to follow her for dinner with a guy named Boris. As they dress up, she tells Sophia about her father's call and Sophia tells her the calendar may have been created by a junkie. She also reveals she stole the calendar. They go for dinner and Boris introduces them to another guy, Thomas, a hunter. The guy is so nice to her and when Eva asks to go home, Sophie tells her Thomas wants to have a private drink with Sophie, so Eva had to go home with Boris. Eva reluctantly accepts while they are in the car. Boris tells Eva about an online trading app and convinces her to install it, but she isn't interested. He also tries to touch her while she's sleeping. She wakes up knowing Boris is touching her inappropriately and even unzips his pants to force her down pleasure. She pushes him away and slaps him, then he throws her off. She screams, cursing him to die. At about the same time, the calendar drops out a toy car and her dog crumbles it. Boris's car has the same reaction and he's crushed to death. She goes to a garden the next day and sees a good-looking guy walking past her. Sophie calls to tell her about Boris's death. She receives a message from Boris apologizing to her after the call, which puzzles her. Sophie notices a link in the message to download a trading app, which she proceeds to download it. There is some money in the app, but Eva isn't interested. At midnight, the calendar signals her to open the box, and she takes the heart-shaped chocolate out. She sees the same guy again the following day at the restaurant. When the waitress temporarily puts his drink on her table, she drops the heart-shaped chocolate into his drink. After drinking, the guy walks to her and introduces himself as William. They spend the day together, exchange phone numbers, and he drives her home at night. When midnight strikes, she eats the chalk-shaped chocolate, and she miraculously fast-forward to three days later. She returns to work and John fires her, saying she was absent from work for the past four days. In disbelief, she leaves and calls William to take her home. At home, she tells William about the series of weird events happening linked to the advent calendar, and William suggests that she should stop eating the chocolates. She assembles the wrappers and sees a logo, which is the same logo of a company in the trading app. She invests in it and gets an immediate return of 9 cents. That night, the box presents a bone for her dog to eat and leaves the house. The next morning, her trading app notifies her of a total of 486 euros profit. Her dog returns home covered with blood. With a necklace pendant, resembling the one John has, thus terrifying her. 
She matches the days she consumes chocolate in line with unfolding events, preserving one untouched piece. Upon eating it, her body trembles uncontrollably. She wakes up at the hospital. William says she was found holding onto the calendar outside her house. That night, a patient brings the calendar to her, asking her for chocolates. She gives her the chocolate for that day. She returns home that day and writes down what the chocolate did. The next day, she receives 14,014 euros from her trading app. She takes the next chocolate to feed his father. He remembers her and tells her that the calendar will demand her to kill even her loved ones. She goes to Williams and explains that she could walk after taking the chocolate. She brings the one she skipped and asks that he watches her take it. Her body starts trembling and she falls. She says she can feel her lower body again. He takes her home, but she forgets her keys in his car. Eva goes swimming and meets a guy and William returns to her house to find her. He sees that it was the calendar that made him approach her. He takes the calendar and throws it into a river. The atmosphere changes as Ish emerges, drags Williams from the car and drowns him. Eva also finds William inside the water and attempts to save him. She swims out of the water and stands by the riverbank. She eventually finds herself at home. That guy, Antoine, who approached her at the pool visits her, claiming to return her chair to her. She asks him to leave. The next evening, after eating the chocolate, she went in front of the mirror and witnesses what happened yesterday at her house. The following day, she gets a knife. She throws it away, but Ish jumps out and forces her to take it. The next day, Sophie pays a visit and finds Eva had killed her dog, which Thomas helps with disposing of it. Sophie then finds the chewing gum from the calendar and swaps it with another one and passes it to Eva. Nothing happens to her, and that day in the car she finds the memory of how she got into an accident while Sophie is driving. She immediately declares that she doesn't blame Sophie, so Ish won't kill her. That night she gets another chocolate, which will allow her to walk if she eats it. She refuses to take it and tells Sophie that Ish may kill her if she does, so she asks Sophie to keep it till the following day. As Sophie makes out with Thomas, Eva tries to open the inner part of the box and she hears a noise. Ish kills Sophie and Thomas and forces Eva to take chocolate. Eva takes it and she walks out with her leg. She finds a painting in the calendar with an address. She visits the address and finds out the painter has been blind for five years. When she touches the painting, he recalls his past incidents with the calendar. Eva deduces that he did the sacrifices to get his vision back and the painting serves as a warning for the next owner. She claims she had forgotten all these events because whenever it passes 24 December, time reverses and all memories are erased. The following day while driving, Eva opens the box and finds a doll, which resembles her colleague, Miriam. She pulls its hair, breaks its limbs and crushes it, thereby killing Miriam. When she was bathing, the clock strikes midnight, she receives a gun directing her to kill her father. She kills him and some minutes into the 24th day, she invites Antoine and makes out with him. She explains everything about the calendar to him and records a message warning the next receiver off the calendar that he should obey all instructions and survive till the last day. She dances for the last time and takes the last chocolate. Antoine suggests that the rules apply until she opens the final door, and he thinks she can refuse the last chocolate. He throws the box away and nothing happens. She realizes she can stay the same and others will stay dead, and she screams at the last chocolate. A man is seen in front of Eva's house, watching her video, begging her to come out, signifying he's the next owner of the advent calendar. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, leave a like to help the channel out, also leave a comment if you'd like us to recap your favorite movie. Thanks for watching.